In this video, we will learn together the basic concepts that we need to know about circumference. Hi, Serge Shed here, and it's Math O'Clock. It's another episode of Discovering the World of Math. Get ready, because in this session, we will be unboxing one mathematical concept under geometry. That is, the circumference. For our learning quest, we need to find the circumference of a circle and solve routine and non-routine problems in real-life situations involving circumference. It's now time for us to begin by having our word problem. Mark needs a new bicycle tire. He found that the radius of his old tire is 16 inches. What is the circumference of the tire that he needs to buy? Understanding the situation is the first way to solve a word problem. And in this case, to check if someone truly understands this provided situation is for him or her to determine first what is asked. This time, we are asked to find for the circumference of the tire that Mark needs to buy. But since we just encountered a technical term that is circumference, let us first define what is circumference. We have here a circle, and before we dwell to the concept of circumference, let's review first the parts of a circle. First is the radius. The radius is the distance from the center to any point of the circle. Next is the diameter. The diameter is a cord that joins two points on the circle and it contains the center. Therefore, the diameter is also equal to 2 times r, where r stands for the radius. And there you have it, the circumference. The circumference is the distance around a circle. With regard to the circumference, if we divide the circumference of the circle by its diameter, we always get the same number. That number is called pi, or the symbol shown on the screen. To the nearest hundreds, approximately, the value of the pi is 3 and 14 hundredths, or 22 sevenths. Thus, the pi is equal to C over D, where C stands for the circumference and D stands for the diameter. Next, let's come up with a formula for the circumference of a circle based on the formula that we had about pi. Circumference over diameter, or C over D, is equal to pi. Now, let's tweak it to find for the circumference of the circle. Circumference of the circle is equal to pi times D. Or, it can also be circumference of the circle is equal to 2 times pi times r, where r stands for the radius, since the diameter is equal to 2 times radius. Let's try to apply this formula to the story problem that we just had earlier. By this formula, Let's now substitute it by the given data. The circumference is equal to 2 times 3.14, which is the value of the pi, times 16, which is the radius of this bicycle tire. Let's continue. 6.28 times 16 is equal to 148 hundreds inches. Therefore, 
the circumference of the tire is 100.48 inches. Let's try more. A circular swimming pool is 21 feet in diameter. How many feet around is the pool? This time, we will be using the circumference of the circle that requires the diameter only. Circumference of the circle is equal to pi times diameter. Let's substitute. 3.14 times 21, which is the given diameter. The result is 65.94 feet. Therefore, there are 65.94 feet around the pool. And for the third word problem, a circular racetrack has a diameter of half mile. How far does a car travel in one lap around the track? Once again, we will be using the circumference that requires the diameter only. Circumference of the circle is equal to pi times the diameter. Let's substitute. Since the value of the pi is 3.14, it will be multiplied by the diameter which is one half mile. The result is one and 57 hundredths miles. Therefore, a car travels 1.57 miles in one lap around the track. This time, let us expose more ourselves to the following word problems that require the application of the concept of circumference. Let's begin with the first word problem under the application part. Miss Van's favorite part of the pizza is the crust. Which size of pizza should she order to get the total length of 37.68 inches of crust. Let's go back to our formula in finding the circumference of a circle. It can help us in solving this given word problem. Let's now substitute our formula by the given data. We have 37 and 68 hundreds which is the supposed to be total length of the pizza that she needs to order. This is equal to 3.14, which is the value of the pi, times the diameter, which is still unknown. To solve for the diameter, we need to divide both sides by 3.14. Let's cancel out and let's proceed on dividing 37.68 by 3.14. The result is 12 inches. Therefore, she should order a 12 inches sized pizza. Next, the bottom of a cone shaped hot has a radius of 7.5 centimeters. What is the circumference of the bottom edge of the hot? Let's now have our formula for this. Circumference of the circle is equal to 2 times pi times radius since the diameter is not provided. Let's substitute 2 times 3.14, which is the value of the pi, times 7.5 centimeters, which is the radius of the cone-shaped hat. Next, we have 6.28 times 7.5. The result is 47.1 centimeters. Therefore, the circumference of the bottom edge of the hat is 47.1 cm. This time, let's now proceed to the last word problem under the application part. If a dinner plate has 56.52 cm of metal around its edge, what is the radius of the plate? 
This word problem is asking us to solve for the radius of the plate, wherein the circumference of the plate is already provided. However, we can still use the formula that we have. The circumference of the circle is equal to 2 times pi times r. Let's just substitute it by the given data. Circumference of the circle is equal to 56 and 52 hundredths. That is equal to 2 times 3.14, which is the value of the pi, times r, which is the unknown. R stands for the radius. Let's continue. To solve for R, let's divide both sides by 6.28. Let's cancel out. And the radius will be 9 centimeters. Therefore, the radius of the plate is 9 centimeters. Once again, you did an awesome job. Well done! For the summary of our class, let's now have the math box. Circumference is the distance around a circle. It can be solved using this given formula. If the diameter is provided, we can say that the circumference of the circle is equal to pi times d, where d stands for the diameter. Or, if the radius is provided, circumference of the circle will be 2 times pi times r, where r is the radius. Since diameter is equal to 2 times r. And now, the references of our lesson. All the fundamental ideas and processes about circumference has just presented. How did you find our discussion? I hope that you enjoyed and you learned a lot of things. Keep on learning! This is Sir Chad. Until the next Math Vlog.